Felipe Massa says Michael Schumacher's controversial incident at La Rascas at Monaco in 2006 was an idea triggered by Ross Braun. I'm Thomas Marr, be sure to like and subscribe for the very latest Formula 1 news. Felipe Massa has recounted one of Michael Schumacher's most controversial moments in Formula 1, which took place during the end of qualifying at Monaco in 2006. Schumacher was embroiled in an early championship battle with Renault's Fernando Alonso and had set the quickest time during the first runs in Q3. However, Schumacher would make an apparent mistake at Larascas right at the end of the session. His Ferrari blocked the track and ruined the qualifying laps for those behind, including Alonso. Immediately, there were suspicions and accusations levelled at Schumacher as the onboard footage suggested that he'd opened up the steering specifically to appear like he'd made a mistake. Such behaviour wasn't unthinkable for Michael as he'd taken out Damon Hill to win the title at Adelaide in 94 as well as attempting the same with Jacques Villeneuve at Jerez in 1997. Michael lost out on that occasion and was thrown out of the championship in that particular event. There's no way you could make a mistake like that, said Villeneuve of Schumacher's Monaco antics. I hope it was deliberate because if you can make a mistake like that, you shouldn't drive a race car. The uproar continued for hours after the session before the stewards disqualified him, saying the stewards can find no justifiable reason for the driver to have braked with such undue, excessive and unusual pressure at this part of the circuit, and are therefore left with no alternatives but to conclude that the driver deliberately stopped his car on the circuit in the last few minutes of qualifying, at a time at which he had thus far set the fastest lap time. Michael was forced to start from the pit lane as a result. A more a recent example of a very similar incident was at Monaco in 2014, when Nico Rosberg made an error at Mirabeau and took to the escape road, ruining Lewis Hamilton's attempt at pole position. In Sky's new documentary, The Race to Perfection, Felipe Massa has talked about the incident. He was teammates with Michael at Ferrari in 2006, and Felipe said Schumacher had acted on the seed of an idea planted by then technical director Ross Braun. We had a meeting with the team, we talked about qualifying, said Massa. We had two sets of tyres for Q3, and Michael said something like, if we're faster now and then we wait for the second set, Ross said maybe we can provoke a yellow flag. At that point I said, for fun? Not seriously, for fun right? But it happened exactly that way. Michael used that funny idea to his favour. Braun had intended the comment as a throwaway hypothetical remark and he explained that Schumacher had just taken it too far, like he'd done on other occasions in his career, such as Adelaide 94 or Hereth 97. Normally it's a fact that you want pole in Monaco, but on that occasion, with the strategies we had, the tires we had and the car we had, in reality there was no need. It was just a stupid manoeuvre. It's one of those little flaws, those short circuits that Michael has had two or three times in his career. Schumacher didn't admit what he'd done immediately, but Massa says that he did so a year later after his first retirement from the sport, although not publicly. I couldn't believe he did it. Then the only thing was that he couldn't say he'd done it. It took him a year to tell. One year. I said, how can you do that? This shows that everyone makes mistake in life and this definitely was one. That's it from me for the moment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Thomas Marr on F1.